My name is Melina Dine. I'm from Denmark and this is my own path. I was born in Copenhagen and I have lived most of my life just north of the city together with my older sister and my mom and dad. The nature in this part of Denmark is, is really cool and there's a lot of forests so like starting to ride mountain bike came really natural. Denmark is also a place where bikes is like everywhere. <laughs> There is bike path on every street and, and bikes is just a big part of our life as Danes. My dad started to ride. Okay, actually the true story is that when I was a kid, I was really like all the time with my mom. My mom and I were still really close, but I was like a shadow of my mom. And everybody around our family, they were teasing me that I was a little mommy doll like yeah, I was also with her and I hated it and I was like ah. I also like I love my dad and I felt so bad that they were all teasing me with this and my dad was riding mountain bike so I was thinking okay what can I do to be with more with my dad so I told him that like I would like a mountain bike and then he was like sure he was like cool Melina we get you a mountain bike and I got one and I fell in love with it Right now we are in a forest North Copenhagen. This is a forest where I learned to ride mountain bike. I started here with my dad and um, yeah, I've been spending a lot of hours on the trails here. We have a variety of trails. There's like gravel, but there's also roots and jumps and rocks and it's a really good, like, good all around place. Every time I come back to Denmark, this is a place I go for riding. Um, it has a lot of good memories for me and it's also just like a really good place to ride. Some years ago, I moved to Spain with my boyfriend. So actually, I haven't lived in Denmark for a while, but always when I'm back home here in Denmark, I'm so busy with like seeing all my friends because with the life I'm living now, I'm traveling so much and I'm, I don't have much time. And it's really difficult to like keep a good social life and stay in touch with my friends. So that's really cool and it matters a lot. It brings me back down to earth like, oh yeah, there's also a different world than only the cycling world. For many years, I have been part of the Danish Cycling Federation. And since I was junior, I have been tested here at the Olympic Center. The testing that we do here is to figure out like where we are physically. So we are doing like an a longer test and a VO2 max test and then we're doing some sprints so to give an overall picture of how we are performing. I'm doing a five minute all out test now with good hair. Then we are doing a recovery break Three watts per kilo I think and then some sprint 1040 sprint to finish the program Yeah, I can
Coming back here to ride and ride in all my old spots, it's always like a pleasure and um, it's still a really good training. Denmark is special because it's super flat. It's actually, we have no mountains and we are often asked like, how can you ride mountain bike in a country without mountains? And <laughs> it's true, but actually for cross country, it's so good. Like we have these small hills and it feels like a cross country track all the time. I've traveled the world now and I've seen so many places, so many terrains, people, everything, but Denmark is still where I belong. It's my home and it's my own path.